Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. So, there was a comment in my latest Let's Play for the um, Star Trek Armada 3 Episode 1. I'm playing as the Klingons, and it was requested that I do a, uh, a simple tutorial on how to install Sins mods. Specifically, this is for Star Trek Armada 3. Um, but it can be used to install most big Sins mods, or probably all Sins mods, to be honest. So, it's real easy. Um, first thing you're going to want to do in the description below is a link to Star Trek Armada. Uh, or you can head on over to ModDB. This is the ModDB main page. If you go up to the type and just type in Star Trek Armada 3, or whatever mod you're looking for for Sins, uh, it'll come up right here. Go ahead and load that up. There we go. So there's the front page. That sexy splash screen they got there. Friggin' awesome. Um, Right now, Mod Database has this weird thing where there's audio clipping with um, the trailers, so just ignore that. That's not your computer freaking out. Anyways, download the mod, click the Downloads button here at the top, and you'll see the beta version. Now, keep in mind how old this video may be. Things can change. I always recommend you read the dev's instructions when installing a mod. Download the mod, read the README. Normally, there's a description on how to do stuff there. Anyways, you just click that. Go ahead and click Download. This will pop up, you can click this here, and it'll automatically start downloading the mod. I already have it, so let's just go ahead and cancel that. So you let it download, once it's download, you open the zip, and then you'll see this screen here. You're gonna need WinZip or WinRAR to open the mod, to extract the mod, it's been compressed. Uh, after you get the mod open in the zip file here, you're gonna have to extract it. Now, first thing I always recommend, like I said before, open the README. This is the README, it tells you exactly how to install the game. Um, you know, here's the instructions right here in the thank yous, but what we're going to do is, I recommend you read this now, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to my computer, go to wherever your, you know, go to your C drive, um, where Windows is installed. I'm just going to close the mod DB pages to get rid of that audio I keep hearing. Now, so under the C drive, go to users, go to whatever your username may be. Mine, of course, is Captain Shack. After Captain Shack, after you go into your username, uh, go to My Documents, go under My Games. This, of course, is all listed in the README. There it is, My Games. Go under My Games. Go under Ironclad, which is who actually made uh, Sins of a Solar Empire. And then go under your version for whatever mod you're installing. You need Rebellion to play Armada 3, go under that. Now, before you do this, make sure you've opened the game at least once so it can create the folder for you. And you're gonna want to patch to the highest version. If you're playing the Steam version, it'll do that for you automatically. All right, so open up your mods-rebellion version, whatever version you have. Um, this is actually, I think, the beta version. What we're gonna want to open is 1.8 in my case. Um, I do have the beta version of Sins installed. I, I opted in in Steam. Normally, you won't have that you'll have whatever version they're up to now, which should be like 1.8. So normally you go to the highest version. Anyways, open the highest version folder. <laughs> if I've confused anybody, this folder may be empty. This is where you're going to grab Star Trek Armada, drag and drop. Let me cancel that because of course, no, I've already got it installed here. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do, and this is really important, grab the mod, the enabled mods.txt file right here and drag that in and yes, move and replace. And what that'll do is it'll automatically start the game. Let's open up Steam real quick. Here's my Steam. It'll automatically start up the mod. Pull it over here for my second screen. Too many games in here. Star Trek Rebellion. So when you launch the game, it will launch the uh, the mod right away, and you'll be good to go. Now, they do mention in the text file that you may want to go ahead and launch the mod, allow it to load up, and then close the game and reopen it just to make sure it's stable. Um, I've never dealt with that. I've never done that. I've just launched it and started playing every time it's worked for me. No problems, no crashes. But you know, your mileage may vary. So I hope this helped some of the really new to modding uh, players. There you go. Star Trek Armada 3. I play in windowed mode, so. Alright guys, I hope this was helpful. I try to do these tutorials whenever I can for a lot of one, uh, a lot of mods. I'm working on an X3 Albion Prelude one, 
So expect that to be coming soon. If you enjoyed this video and it helped, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe here to the XP Gamers for more modding goodness. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.